What's up ladies and gents and welcome to week 190 for League of Legends top 5 plays. From top tier mechanics to explosive team fights, this episode has it all, so please sit back, relax and enjoy as we dive right into our number 5 play with the Lich Alex on Thresh. Right off the bat we see Red Team's bot lane happily farming when all of a sudden Vi goes in. The Lich Alex positions in between to try and flay the rocket jump but narrowly misses and now they're in a whole lot of trouble. As Corky slowly dies from explosive shot, Thresh starts to make his way to the tower but he gets jumped on slowed and takes a ton of damage. Right as he gets into tower range, the enemy Vi decides to dive with Vault Breaker but an excellent box into a flay pushes her into the slow as the tower finishes her off. The enemy Tristana keeps on going, but between the damage from the tower and creeps, Thresh decides to turn around with his Q into an exhaust that survived the auto attack and bring her down for the double. Coming in at 4th place, we have x Suite on Fizz with a bunch of daring plays. At the start, we see Olaf continuously slow them as Red Team chases Blue Team back to their base. All of a sudden, Fizz sees an opening and ease into a flash behind Orianna so that he can Q and place himself away from Darius as Buster Shot gives him an added boost. Now completely surrounded by enemy players, I think most people would try to make their escape, but he decides to go back in and east behind Riven, queuing again to create some distance. As the enemy team chase him back to base, he pops health potions, but then Olaf lands the axe for the slow. He just barely eased the reckless swing, and thanks to some quick thinking, he's able to queue over the wall to escape. While that was going on, the friendly Graves was split pushing, and he takes down the crucial tier 2 tower. Landing in at a number 3 spot, we have the 12th man 96 on Tristana who backdoors the enemy base while her teammates pull out the clutch. Just for clarification, the 12th man 96 submitted the play and is the one backdooring, but we have to give major props to her teammates as well for the fantastic defense. So as this fight erupts, we know blue team is at a disadvantage as they try to hold off red team in a 4v5. Blue team can't get wiped up here or it's curtains for them, so they try their best to stall out, but in the end, two players go down. As they retreat, Karma flashes the sun and then cues the slow vein as Riven picks up on this and ease into her ult to snipe out the crucial kill on Vayne. The enemy team piles damage onto Riven, but between all the shields, she just barely manages to escape and heal up. With Tristana just on the inhib, they need to outplay 2v4 to win this game. Riven goes in and gets locked up immediately, but she gets the kill on Alistar, and with their main tank down, Red Team has to back away from the towers. They focus down Annie and move right onto Wukong as they look to stall out and fight to the death for Tristana. Wukong flashes away, so they turn their focus to Anivia and chase her down as Karma moves in. Anivia cues Karma, but a perfect Zhonya's negates the E as they proc her passive and continue through for the kill. At this point, they bought as much time as possible, and all eyes turn to the 12th man 96 to finish the game. Coming in at second place, we have Flats the Flounder and Orianna in a ranked fives game. We see Red Team trying to take down Dragon, but Blue Team is here to prevent it. As they start to move in, the friendly Aatrox gets lower and lower from Dragon and then Zap slows him into a rupture. The team fight erupts, but a beautiful tidal wave denies the enemy vine, slows everyone so that Amumu can land a massive ult followed by the shock wave. In a matter of seconds, Red Team has decimated the enemy team, picking up the clean ace with an added dragon to push them a huge step closer to victory. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Black Ice Double O and Vayne with incredible mechanics in a messy team fight. After just getting Baron, they're looking to siege up mid, but the friendly Nami gets charmed and CC'd under tower, making this a 4v5 right off the bat. The enemy team looks to turn this fight as Renekton rushes straight in, and the enemy Ramus joins in on the counter engage. Vayne focuses down Ramus and then decides to keep her distance, knowing Ari wants to assassinate. When Ari goes in, she goes stealth, and then she uses Blade of the Rune King to speed herself up and work her way around the fight while dodging the orb. As both AD carries Duke it out, she heals the Kai Renekton and then condemns Caitlyn into the wall, securing the kill and then dodging the Hulk right after. She gets dash on and stunned, but then immediately tumbles to dodge the orb while killing Renekton and then sidesteps a flash charm from the Ari. One by one, they all go down as she just barely kills Thresh before his auto attack for the Penta kill. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Duji Giri on Trindamir with an epic base race finish. I wanted to shout out an awesome website I've been using pretty frequently that I mentioned to you guys about a month ago called OpinionOutpost.com. For those who may have missed the video, it's essentially a website where you give reviews on things you're familiar with like TV shows, movies, and other products. And in exchange, you can earn PayPal money, Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, and a bunch of other sweet rewards. Last time I gave it a shout out, I was able to give away two $10 RP cards from the money I earned from using the site, but after using it even more, I have three $10 RP cards to give away to random fans who comment down below. A couple of quick tips for using the site. You do have to be 18 or older to use it, so if you're not, ask a parent before signing up. And if you sign up with a Gmail account, be sure to check the promotions tab so you don't miss out on anything. A link to give it a try is at the top of the description box down below, so head over there now and give it a try for yourself. It's super easy and well, I know Project Yasuo won't pay for itself. Thanks for watching everyone, check out the Opinion Outpost link down below, comment for the RP, and I'll see you back here soon for our next League of Legends Top 5 Plays.